tell you what, I could watch that channel all day. I'm sure you could, all those lovely models. I've, uh, I've, I've got quite a keen eye for fashion. Have you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, think about it, whether you're fashionable or not, what you wear really does make quite a statement about who you are. Sure. Showcase your personality. So therefore, Ignition is also a good channel for you to watch, apart from the fact that you're on it. Because it's also about fashion, car fashion. It's actually a very good point. Eh? That's true, what you drive really does make a statement about who you are, the image you'd like to create, I guess. Absolutely. You know what's very fashionable in cars at the moment? What? Green or blue, depending which, yeah, <laughs> which manufacturer it's, you are. It's yeah, it depends which brand it is. Yeah. Yeah. Merck's been quite clever, aren't they? They have, they have, because that car is not just about the engine. In fact, very little is about what they've changed in the engine. It's all the other stuff that they've changed from the car. It's kind of the holistic approach, I guess, to the impact that motor vehicles, I guess, have on the environment. And the funny thing is, these are changes that you, as a viewer, probably won't even notice looking at the C180. But on ignition, that's what we are for. We're going to pinpoint all those little things that make this car super efficient. It could be said that the Mercedes-Benz C180K blue efficiency is simply a display of what car manufacturers around the world are working on, using aerodynamic, material and technology changes to make their cars more fashionably green. Hats off to the Germans though for making a fuss about it as their true blue solutions. And I have to admit, I was impressed. So uh, are you going to be highlighting some of these uh, holistic features they've got? Yeah, you know, it's really quite amazing. They've, they've shaved off between 19 and 32 kilograms of weight. <laughs> that would make it a supermodel, I guess. <laughs> sure. Do you know, one of the really interesting things that they've done to do that is they've used a windscreen, they've made it thinner with the special glass that they use in the Maiba. Morris. So, so, yeah. And you know what else they've done that's really, really interesting? They've got these, um, on the, Marius, on the tail lights here, they've got these ventilations, they've got these holes that basically reduce the drag coefficient of the car. I wonder... I wonder what her drag coefficient is. <laughs> really? Um, and then on the tail, uh, not the tail lights, these front lights as well, on the bonnet, which is they've done so much on this car. What they've done is they have sealed the joints between the bonnet and the headlamps and also between the bumper and the headlamps. And they've done all these things that, Marius, they've done all these things that make this car so much better aerodynamically. And lighter. <laughs> the best part about it, Marius, the best part about it is the engine. You know why? No. Because they have changed it from a 1.8 that you usually find in a C180 compressor to a 1.6 without losing any of the power. Without what? Without losing any of the power. So the, it's a 1.8, 1, 1 now it's a 1.6 and so it's got the same exactly. 115 it's kilowatts. Exactly, it's got 115 kilowatts. It's amazing. Okay, that did get my attention. What's the CO2 emissions like? The CO2 emissions, well, you know what? It's kind of like people who don't know cars, don't know kilowatts. They don't know whether 100 is good or 200 is good. So I think we need to start brushing up on our CO2 emissions to find out what's good and what's not. I wonder what a CO2 emissions like. Oh, actually, yeah, g girls don't do that, eh? <laughs> Unbelievable. Mercedes-Benz is taking this all very seriously. The forged lightweight wheels are almost two kilograms lighter than conventional alloys. In the engine bay, the noise-insulating firewall is also slimmer without compromising your sound in the cabin. Under the car, smooth cladding means the air flows more freely under the car and on the front end, the radiator grille has been partially blanked off to lower wind resistance. Small and subtle changes that suddenly give the compressor a tick in the eco-friendly box without compromising any of the creature comforts that the three-pointed star is famous for. The cabin is a very pleasant place to be and I must admit I did get quite attached to this car's simple, no-fuss operation and drive. The automatic gearbox is a little bit clunky at times, but overall it's a pleasure to take out on the open road and even in town. Inside you'll find more clever savings, like the power steering, which works on a needs-only basis, so travel in a straight line for a while and, it, well, essentially it goes to sleep. There's also a fuel consumption bar which shows you how your heavy foot is affecting your pocket and advises you when to change gear to spare some change.
must tell you, I'm, uh, I am very impressed with the new C180. I just don't know if I'm, if I'm that happy with true blue efficiency blazing on the side of the car. Yeah, but you know what? Any good brand these days has the branding on the outside. It wears its name on its sleeve. So you're saying they should bring the car out like that, eh? Absolutely not. You know what the great thing is about this car? Is that it doesn't, it's not badged as something that is environmentally friendly in any way. It's a C180 compressor and it's only you that knows that you're doing the world a favor. You are doing the world. That's what makes it so fashionable though, because you still have the status of I drive a Mercedes Benz, you've got the luxury, it's a great drive, but um, you're fashionable because you're environmentally conscious. Absolutely. I feel so good right now. I'm going to go hug a bunny. <laughs> Not one of those bunnies. <laughs> no, that's the bunny I want to go hug.